hundred percent something. Yes. <coughs> we'll tell you what's happening afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a, this is a, a poem called a, a poem, poetry poem called a Quinsaba. Um, oh, move that. Okay, I'm sorry. Move over there. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. All right. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Quinsaba is a 49-word uh, poem. It's done in seven lines, no more than seven words uh, to a line, and uh, every, every word has to be less than seven letters, except for proper nouns. Okay. So here we go. The name of this one is Baying Not at the Moon. It's a creative, it's a, well, it's a creature chorus quintava. Yeah. Lilavil, ille, chorus quonsawain or uirinam. As each night unfolds, certain dogs howl. Wuvur irevilum, sila naihel, uleidum. Never, not at the roving bright moon. Urubodum, pragasaman and eleven villichetil, alehil irikadi. Their concern is toward present earthly actors. Our clean Kavali, that Bodhi Bumi Kuri and Nadigar will be the Ulad. The cause clear as a dawning day. Karanam and Navendral, Urubudir Kalil at the Tiliwaha Ulad. Will their pretend masters know to obey? Those many signs of a doomed decay. Warning of a tragic swoon very soon. Okay. So, and what we, what we come to do, uh, this started a while ago. Uh, <laughs> I asked Yacha, I asked Yacha, I said, look, we're in Orwell, we're, we're in, you know, we're in Tamil Nadu, we're in southern India, shouldn't we have an interpretation for, for people? So he kindly consented to uh, translate these short, short poems into, uh, into this. And then we started to do this where I do the lines and he does it in Tamil, so. That's how, it, uh, that's how it evolved. Now, I, I, what, what we've also done, what I've also done, and you can talk any time you want, what I've also done is, since it's such a short poem, I had this fascination, I've been writing poetry for a very long time. This is just, it's just a, a form of poetry that I, I, I don't do a lot, but this is it's just what it is. And so it's always fascinating to me when a poet or a writer is writing, and then, then when it gets to academia, people start to, to understand what's going on, they want to get into the writer's head. They want, you know, they want to know. You go, well, what was Shakespeare thinking, or whatever have you? So I've taken <laughs> to actually explain the poem since we have this stage to do this in. So I'm going to go back and explain the poem. It's not your interpretation. It's just what's in my head and, and, and how I'm inter inter interpreting. It, okay. So as you know, being not at the moon. So it's you know, being at the moon. Uh, a creative. Uh, or rather, creature of course, Quonsalva. Quonsalva is like the, the form of poetry. Okay, now remember the word is creature. So there's a lot of creatures. Think about the forest, you know, all the little creatures in the forest. Okay. As each night unfolds, right, certain dogs howl. Okay. Now a dog, as you know, comes from the wolf. Really, wolves howl. Dogs sort of bark, you know. So this howling, I'm going to the, the essence of what a dog is. And it's the moon, so they howl at this moon that's moving, okay? Uh, never, not at the roving bright moon. So that not, they're not really howling at the moon, that, 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 rove, that moon that moves at night. I'm saying that's, what they're not, that's not what they're doing. Their concern is toward present earthly actors. In other words, these primal an animals, they've been here for a long time, and the, the human beings or whoever's here now, they're concerned about what's going on. Okay. Uh, the cause clear as a dawning day. Okay, they, they know what's going on. This, this is, they have this cause. Will their pretend masters know to obey? Pretend masters is the current human beings that you know have uh, domesticated them, and they are the masters of the of the universe, the masters of the earth, whatever it is. Okay. 
uh, those many signs of doom and chaos. So will these pretend masters see what they're, what, what, what's, what's going on? The, the, the destruction of the earth, right? Warning of a tragic swoon, tragic, tragic, you know, falling down very soon. So that's what this is this poem is about. Now, a, a couple of things. We're going to, I'm doing a little, a tiny workshop tomorrow night, and we're actually going to, actually what I do, yeah, poetry is one thing, but what I actually do, I'm an audio dramatist, which means that I do uh, theater for the microphone. And what I do is I take actors and we do, we do radio plays with sound effects and music and stuff like that. So tomorrow at the workshop, we're going to turn this small poem into an audio drama. Okay, that's what I do, so that's what I have to do while I'm here. And speaking about while I'm here, this is my uh, last session here because I leave on Tuesday back to, I live in South Africa now, back to South Africa. Though I was, you know, I'm what, I'm what, I'm what we call, what we currently call, I'm an American African made in the Mount Haven section of the Bronx, which means I'm an American, I carry an American passport. African, of African descent, which, uh, when I say African, I don't actually mean the, the, the land mass, I mean the mentality of Africa. And I was made in New York, so that's, that's what that means, okay? So uh, so I lived there, I live in South Africa, and I've been living there for like about 20 years or whatever happened. I came to Oroville 20 years ago, and Lena was, well, when she was little bitty, Famous. Uh, she witnessed a play that we did called Weird Sisters. And it was a fantastic little moment. And so she remembered me all these many years. And I said, oh, wow, nah, nah. Said, would you come and see the, oh, nah, nah. She claims she has no talent, but everybody in this room has talent. So, so sooner or later, you gotta work on her. She's gotta bring out her talent with, 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 with the little one. Oh, that's right, we don't have the children here today. So children come to the stage. Yes. And this is the last thing I'm gonna say. This stage or this particular um, uh, venue here is important because it's a safe space. Stage is always a safe space. It's a sacred space. Let's think of the sacred mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a safe space. You to, he's made this a safe space. So you can do what you want. There are no mistakes, well, as Miles Davis used to say. The only way you take things. So you can risk it all. You can, like Malcolm did, you can say, oh, I'm working on something, let me see how it sounds, and that, and And so you can feel what's going on, and you can develop in this space. That's what's important about this space. You know, nobody's gonna tell you, oh, you're, oh, you messed up. Well, you, you understand what I'm saying? So this is a safe space, so use it. It's a very good space. I enjoyed the, 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 the weeks that I've, I, I've developed several homes here, and they're going on to do other things. I'm sorry, I said one last thing, but yeah, I'm please, on the radio please, please, on that. <laughs> <laughs> one tiny thing. They're really listening and interesting. So here's what's going on. So these poems, what I'm doing is um, I, 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 I post on Instagram how it develops. I, I write them, and then I, then I develop and develop, and then, then, uh, then does the, the translation. What I'm going to do when I go back to South Africa is take the original poem, take the translation, and put it on board. Then in the theater space that we have, we have a little art like you, we have a little art gallery. Art gallery. So we want to uh, exhibit them. Because remember, the Tamil language is, it, well, the Tamil is the original. You know, the autochthonous language of the plant. Well, it's the original language. So it looks beautiful, you know. <coughs> when it's, and then you have the English, right? Now, when I'm down in South, in Southern Africa, I live in what's called a, uh, the uh, Tosa stronghold. So I'll translate it, I have it translated to Tosa. So you'll have a triptych where you have the, 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 the Tamil, the English, the Tosa, as an exhibit, right? Now here's where it gets interesting. Now when you have an art gallery, people want, you know, they want the brochure and stuff like that. Well, my wife's a, a, a tailor, so I want to have her make those like skirts where you actually write the poem on the skirt. Wow. So now we can, when we do the exhibit, we can actually put the skirt up and sell those skirts to people so they can wear them. Wow. So as an art piece, it becomes part of the thing that, you understand, so you can keep on whatever you have out. No, words, this started from this stage, this idea started because of this situation. And I'm asking you all, everybody here, to go beyond what you're doing. So when you're singing your original song, okay, you got your original song, where's the modern version? Where's your version? You know, how you can dig into yourself and find out what you want to do. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so enough of that. Tomorrow we'll do the workshop and then we'll, we'll talk more. Thank you so very much for allowing me. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I thought you were doing it.
one of the or one of the very simple artist cafe entry. Stop. Okay, our 